No two design systems are alike. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can figure out what you need to create for the size of your product and your team. Doesn't matter if you're creating your first design system ever, or you're auditing and updating something, or you're just adapting an existing UI kit or something like that to add to your design system. And make sure to watch the whole video because I'm going to sneak in here a free little course that you can sign up for all about design systems. So first up, we have the design system guide by Romina Kovsik. And this is an amazing one. I've covered this before on the channel, but it is a step-by-step -step interactive guide and it really covers so much of what you need to know. There are chapters here that just take you through all of the steps. It's the discovery phase of all the questions you should be asking about the system that you're creating. And there's a playbook as well in here. It shows you how to do a design audit if you already have a system, create an inventory file, all of these amazing things are just laid out. And that's just the first chapter. Design audit is amazing. If maybe you are working on a team that has some design debt or you're trying to wrangle some sort of a cohesive system together for them, this is the chapter that you're gonna to wanna to check out. Foundations is amazing because it talks about the building blocks of your system, like the color palettes and all of the components. And then we have design tokens. This is one all about the semantics and naming conventions of all the little things that we have in our system. So the best like naming conventions and practices for things like this. And there are lots of standards and examples that you can check out. And then there are things about collaboration, right? Because at the heart of it, Design systems are not that much about design as they are about communication because we are trying to communicate the rules and the principles and the best practices that we want to be implementing when these things are put into production, when they go live and when they're being changed and updated. So this is a great section to go over that and understand some different team models and different ways of thinking about it. I love these sections on centralized models, immersed models. It's just a wonderful way to relate this concept to other people that's kind of otherwise um, ephemeral. There's all kinds of instructions about documentation and how the UI component in actual implementation will be impacted ways to gather data and metrics so that you can, you know, explain the impact of having this design system on your team. Great design tool section here. Lots of things that are useful for you to help manage and create your systems as well as accessibility, which is a section that's coming soon. So stay tuned for that. There's already some great content here about that as well as governance. So this is a great all over resource and overview of design systems. Next up, we have Hey Design Systems. This is another awesome resource and this is a little bit more into the action of creating it. So there are some reading lists here, some watch lists, and now you can dive into the individual aspects of the design system, such as the design part itself, defining colors in your system and spacing, typography, how to document your design system. This is great content here for when you're now getting into the practice of setting things up, development, measuring, selling. These are the things that matter and there's some great resources here as well. Next up we have design system tools and this is really helping you build out your system with lots of actionable resources. There are component libraries listed here that you can download for Figma and this is all the stuff about styling and code components. There are resources here. There's documentation systems, um, how to do interactive components, what they are. This dives a lot more into things like the code infrastructure and GitHub repos, mono repos, governance. So this is taking you a little deeper into the practical and functional side of design systems. And as promised, there is an amazing free course at Design System University. And there are actually a few courses here, including how to make design systems that people want, how to actually use design systems inside of Figma, and then how to use a design system in code. And those are really three of the most important parts to design systems. It's the communication part, the actual visual stuff and the UI interactions, and then the implementation. So this is amazing how many awesome resources and courses there are here. So check that out. Next, we have this really cool mind map by 
the roadmap team and I just like the visual representation so that you can kind of see everything at a glance that matters in design systems. Uh, you know, everything from basic definitions to um, terminology and design elements and components. And it's just a nice overview of the core components, the tooling, the development side, project management, all of the things that matter. And when you click into these, there are often some useful resources or YouTube videos or definitions here for you to look at. Next, we have Design Systems by Ila Grubin. This is a great directory. And what I like about this one in particular is that I can look for individual components. Like let's say that I'm working on something very specific, like, you know, a, a pattern. If we dive into the components tab, for example, let's say that I'm really working on just like a date picker pattern. This will serve me up all of the existing design systems that have that component integrated so that I can look at their principles and learn from their patterns and how they're designing and implementing it. So I can look at Active Campaign, Atlassian, Dell, Elastic Design System, GitLab, etc. Then when I click into this, it's going to load up that date picker specifically from this design system so I can check out their structure, their principles, and how they create it. So it's like a really great way to filter through all of that information through all of these design systems that are out there and drill down to specific components or flows. And finally, we have design system checklist. Now that you've gathered all of the understanding, the information, you have a plan, you are ready to implement, this will keep you on track so that you're not forgetting anything and you can just check these things off as you go. It's just really handy. I like this checklist layout format and it just kind of helps me move through the actions of what I'm doing really quickly without having to you know, think too much about it. I love these core components. I think these are things that every designer should really study and make sure they're not forgetting when they're making their screens and their um, flows, all of these states, super important and useful. And lest we forget, I have a beloved product design course where I teach you about all of this stuff. And designers love it so much because they are getting to do real world hands-on projects, build their portfolio and get one-on-one -on -one mentorship from myself and the community throughout the program. So it's just an amazing way to upskill in product design and strategy and business. Whatever it is you need to do with design systems, this is your go-to guide. So make sure to save this video, share it with somebody that you think could use this and share it with your team because these are all things that will help you guys make better products. Let me know in the comments where you're at with your design systems so I can make more videos like this if you like it. See you next time.